start <clears throat> a series of videos about how to use Microsoft Project. Now, for those of you that don't know, Microsoft Project is a really good uh, project management tool where we can manage tasks um, broken down into summaries. We can deal with resources that are used to get the tasks done. Uh, and then we even have costing and work breakdown structures that we can use uh, within the software itself. So it's a really great tool um, that a lot of people use. It's a widely used program. And I've been dealing with the project now for probably over the past 15, 16 years. So I want to talk to you about something really basic. I just want to go over uh, setting up a project. So when you create a blank project file, here are the steps you want to take. The first step is you want to go to the project tab and click change working time. And this is going to set up your schedule for the project. Now you could just change the standard calendar. And for this example, that's what I'll say we would be doing. So if you wanted to change it to something other than eight till 12 and one till five, which is the default Monday to Friday, that is the first step you would do. So make sure that gets done. Second step you would do would be to click the options button along the bottom. And this is going to pop up your project options. Now in here, Whatever you set your calendar to, you want to make sure that the options in your calendar match up. There are times when we don't want them to match up, but for the majority of those projects out there, we want them to match up. So make sure your start time matches whatever you set on your calendar, end time, and hours per day. If you're using weeks as a duration unit, you could set it here as well. That would be important. And then days per month as well. So once you have that set, and your calendar changed. And if you need to know how to do that, that's going to be coming up in uh, later videos. Actually, I believe the next video where we talk about how to set the calendar. Uh, once that's done, the second or third thing you do at that point is on the project tab, you would click project information and you'd either set your start date for the project or your finish date, depending on how you want to schedule it, as well as the calendar for the project. And if you made a new one on that previous screen, you'd make sure you choose it here. Or if you change standard, you can just verify that. You can also set a priority. And again, we'll talk about this project information in a lot more detail in another video. And so if you go in that order, if you change your working time, set up your options. Again, there are certain situations where you wouldn't do that, but for the majority of us out there, match your options to whatever you set up for your project calendar, then enter your project information, then save the project file. You will be good to go. That's a very solid base. If you entered your project information first as an example, okay, and then you go and change your working time, you can cause an awful lot of problems with how it schedules it. You can miss an hour or two at the beginning. The other problem is if I enter in information first and then change that, then it can really wreak havoc on my durations. So that's going to be our first video about project. This is just to get you started. And uh, we'll be doing quite a few more over the next week or so, uh, just getting you acclimatized to using this piece of software.